Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. We're right in the middle of sort of um, implementing the 1111 portal energy. So if you want to see if you still have some blocks or things that are keeping you from manifesting, go ahead and reach out and get in line for a reading. Also check out the description box because I have lots of upcoming lives. The next one will be a casual hangout on the 18th. So be sure to check that out. I hope you're all doing all right, taking care of yourselves, and let's see what the message is. Oh, got one coming out already. <laughs> Crystal clear intention. So this, again, this is 1111 type energy. Be very careful of what you're thinking of and what emotions you are putting behind things. Why? Because that's what you're going to bring in. Okay. So if you are worrying about things, you're going to get the thing that you don't want. Right. So be very careful. We always want to manifest things in the highest good of everyone involved. Okay. So it's Archangel Michael. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Faith is the big part there that we need to look at not just overthinking it and putting so much brain power behind it but knowing okay I don't need to worry about this I put it out to the universe I can't wait to see what comes you know turn it into excitement but I can't drive it home enough be clear about what <laughs> what your intentions are and I should put this out there too if you are manifesting just to get something it's going to backfire on you I get, you know, people coming to me all the time saying, you know, I did, you know, all these manifestation things. Where's my payoff? Well, it's because you were working for a payoff. You just wanted to use spirituality to get something in the 3D world, not to better yourself or to better the planet or do you see what I'm saying? Coming from a higher frequency standpoint. So yeah, that matters. Okay. <laughs> Be careful with that. All right. Let's get some more cards going here. All right. Passion. Okay, so we need to clear the way a little bit here. In the November overview, I was feeling like I was very concerned around mid-November. We're still in it. We'll see. But right now, the energy feels level. I hope it doesn't turn back. But this is a time where we are clearing away some of the stuff that we've been worried about, like I said, or you've been manifesting that you don't really want to leave room for something you do want, right? Something you're passionate about. So this is Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So this has this feeling of a reset. It's um, really reevaluating where all of our energies have been going and is it worth it? You may decide that something has gotten too much of you, right? And this could even be an old situation that you're still resenting or something you feel guilty about. Anything that you've been ruminating about, you know, those sorts of things. All right. I like it so far. It's saying, hey, go for those manifestations, but make sure you know why you want it. All right. Clear your space. Archangel Jophiel, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. We are too held up on the old stuff, right? So this is where we talk about having energy leaking out. We have things that are getting our time and attention, or as people would say, getting real estate in our brain or in our hearts. Um, and it's just time to, to clear all that away. So if you have gotten stressed, if you have something that's really pulling on you, sorry, it's a little cold in here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> something's so per pulling on you, then you need to stop and go, okay, what is that creating in my reality? If I'm putting this out there, if I am just always expecting, and I used to live like this, always expecting something bad to happen, um, feeling like I have to live on the defensive because someone might take advantage, you know, all that kind of stuff that is taking away from something beautiful that you could be creating. This is Joe file. That's what Joe file is all about. Beauty, harmony, grace. 
And we often overlook that in favor of just pushing on um, an outward manifestation, trying to make that promotion happen or get that love partner, you know, or all those kinds of things. So we don't want to overlook the peace, right? The peace in our hearts, because that's where you're going to manifest from. Oh, I just hit my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. And once again, I have a hair on my face somewhere and I don't know where it's attached. It's tickling me. Oh, I see it. <laughs> What's it? Get. Okay. Hi. Okay. Anyway, it's still bothering. <laughs> okay. Anyway, beloved one, Archangel Shamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So there is a big message here of stick together. We have, you know, we have support coming in and we have people joining, connecting, maybe through common passions, you know, things that you care about. Um, this definitely does say clear the road for some of you out there who have been single for a very long time. This might be a surprising love connection. I'm not going to lie. Okay. It could, it could come kind of out of the blue. Uh, and it also, for, for those of you that resonate with that part of the message, it has this feeling of like you gave up on love. So this is not for the people who are constantly, you know, looking for their next love partner. No, no, no. These are people who have... They've, you know, stayed to themselves. They've done the work. You know, they've given themselves time and space to do the healing, right? Could be somebody coming out of nowhere. Now, be careful with this. Just because someone feels like familiar, soulmate, whatever, that doesn't mean it's supposed to be forever. Doesn't mean that you're attached to them, okay? Doesn't mean they get away with treating you any old way. Now now <laughs> okay so our other card is fiona now that you've asked the angels for help be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance you deserve heaven's help so this is so get out of your own way <laughs> like this whole thing has been about okay step back look at what kind of energy you're putting into things like we were saying and decide what works what doesn't work and shift gears. If you are a human who is very, very goal oriented, it has to be that person. That's going to come back on you. I don't care what any little, sorry, being condescending, but I don't care what um, little tarot readers say or what little titles they're putting on their videos to get attention. Um, I didn't make the rules. I, I just know not to break them <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. And they're going to get theirs for putting that out there. But, you know, we, we if you're like trying to force someone to love you, not going to work. If you're trying to force a situation where you want a certain job and maybe it was meant for someone else. Do you see what I'm saying here? This is a big manifestation time. Don't be messing with it. <laughs> like, it will kick back on you now the Fiona card is definitely talking about once you put it out there to the universe with good intentions from the heart back up okay and just be in the flow allow things to unfold the way they need to I'll say it one more time if you get this idea in your head that it has to look like this this and this or it's not right you're not leaving any room for the universe I know manifestation rule books have told us to really visualize it and do all that. Do you want to be that kind of authority or do you want to, because the universe will bring you what you want. Okay. So if you put, I want a blue house, I want a blue house, I want a blue, okay, well then you'll manifest a blue house. But what if there was another house that the universe was going to show you that was way more perfect for you? You see what I'm saying? So don't cut the universe out of your manifestations. Thank you. All right. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.